Hi Pisces, welcome to your love reading. I hope you all are doing really well. Okay, let's dive right in. Let's see what are the energies around you when it comes to love. What are the energies around you when it comes to love? Three cards, please. We've got the Six of Swords, okay, moving to calmer waters, which is always good. Nine of Swords, and then we have the Two of Cups. Wow. So I had a feeling that this was the good kind of Nine of Swords where, you know, like reality is better than your dreams. Uh, <laughs> I really like this for you. Let me see if I can zoom in to the cards and focus a little bit more. Yep, there we go. Two of Cups. Okay, that's amazing. So I definitely feel that some of you are calling in a really amazing soulmate connection or some of you are already in a very nice healthy relationship that feels like you've met the one you've met your person i think you've been pretty anxious about this and this has come after some amount of struggles or, or turmoil when it comes to your love life but um, pisces this is looking pretty good let's just get one more on the nine of swords the magician okay so i think you've manifested something and it's come out uh, it's worked out for you. I think you've manifested from a good place. You've done the inner work. You've done your healing piece. And now uh, you've manifested this brand new connection. And just with the flow of the cards, I feel if you don't know about this yet, I think you're calling in a soulmate very, very soon because this kind of came towards this side, which indicates more of the future. At the bottom of the deck, you've got the Queen of Coins, another indicator for me that a relationship is on its way. And if you're single right now, I think you won't be for too long. Um, and I think if some of you are already in a happy, healthy, committed relationship, then I think uh, you've just come out of a difficult period and it's going to go back into stability. So looking really good so far. For the people who are not coupled up right now, let's see who's coming in for love. Who's coming in for love for my Pisces? Who's coming in for love for our Pisces collective? Who's coming in for love for our Pisces collective? Let's see. Okay, universe. So somebody at a distance could be somebody that you met while you were traveling or somebody that you might meet while you go on a trip. So how exciting. Serenity. Okay, that's nice. The hanged man sort of energy. And we've got Ace of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Look at that. This is a brand new person, a brand new energy entering into your uh, into, into your life. I think there's going to be a lot of mutual attraction, a lot of mutual desire. Could be a strong uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius coming in. The world card has all the four fixed signs. So Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo and Taurus. And we've just entered Taurus season. So I have a feeling that, you know, this time around mid-April to mid-May, you have a very high possibility of attracting somebody new into your love space. Okay. So let's clear out these and let's just see what the future energies would look like in love for you because those were the current energies. So show me what will be the future energies in love. What will be the future energies in love for the Pisces collective future energies in love, please. Future energies in love. Okay, eight of wands. I'm getting strong travel vibes because we saw the world card and now we're seeing the eight of wands which for me is often like travel back and forth communication making plans you could be meeting somebody online and then maybe they live at a distance and you decide to travel to them okay we'll take all these that fell out fool a brand new beginning how beautiful seven of swords so i think right now this is hidden from you you don't see this coming but soon it'll come out uh you know out in the open with the sun card so you know, there's definitely light coming in at the end of a difficult tunnel. And look at that, the Ten of Coins, which is the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. I mean, these are some amazing cards. I know some people get a bit worried when they see the Seven of Swords, but the Seven of Swords can simply mean that somebody's trying to come up with a plan or a strategy as to how to approach you. So maybe this person has already got their eye on you and they're trying to figure out how to come in, how to make a move how to perhaps travel towards you, maybe because they live in a different city, different state, different country. Um, it's Yeah, that's the kind of feeling that I'm getting from the cards, but I think this is somebody solid, someone stable, someone who's looking for something very stable and uh, like a committed kind of relationship. Um, this is a person who's not looking for fun or anything casual. I think they're looking for something very committed. So if that's what you're looking for as well, Pisces, then I think you've got a lot to look forward to in the near future this is looking really good i'm getting more like new person 
brand new energy some of you a small group of you watching i think this person might know you already or maybe you don't know them but they've noticed you already at a party or at a work event or something and they're trying to figure out how to come towards you okay show me show me what else do you want pisces to see when it comes to their love life playfulness that to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so i think when you meet it's going to be really fun and like flirty and light-hearted energy with this person release your ex the time has come to clear your energy i think that is very evident because you have a brand new person coming in so if you have any unfinished business i think with somebody from the past this would be a good time to wrap it up because you obviously want to be ready and prepared for what's coming in with this new person and then we've got deception someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship this i feel if some of you are still connected with somebody from the past and with the seven of swords being here and the sun card i think the truth will come to light like it'll surface you'll see what somebody's true intentions are i don't always get a negative energy from the deception card in this deck because it simply means that someone is not being honest about their feelings or doesn't have the courage right now or the vulnerability to really open up in a big way about how they feel or their you know like uh just somebody who's not very comfortable talking and expressing um their emotions so it could also mean that you know maybe you've been feeling this pull uh towards someone but you've kind of been lying to yourself about it because maybe you're still hung up on somebody from the past but what spirit is saying is that get real get honest with yourself and similarly i think this person coming in is going to be very real and honest with you it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all so yes i definitely think that the energy is shifting around you and you're inviting something really amazing into your love life i'm so excited for you pisces let's see what the angels have for you what do you want pisces to see the strongest messages that you want them to see please okay don't stop so keep doing what you're doing cuz it's working it's up to you so i think the ball would be in your court like you will be able to decide whether you want to explore this connection with this person or not and you've got reconsider and i think for a small group of you i think if there is somebody coming in from the past then you might reconsider this connection and you might want to see if there could be a brand new beginning or a way to restart this connection but obviously only you know like take it as it resonates and only do that if you feel like it's it makes sense or it's the right thing for you in case there is somebody from the past coming in what is it that they'd like to say to pisces what is it that they'd like them to see i'm starting to understand our connection so i think somebody's taken a time out to really reflect on the connection that existed between you and this person and now they're understanding it in a much deeper way and now perhaps both of you feel that the time has come to release this like where we got that card release your ex i don't know what you want cuz maybe maybe the two of you are not on the same page so i think it'll resonate with some of you who know that there have been some concerns with somebody from the past and it is time to release your ex because you guys are not on the same page so it's important to you know let go of things that really don't serve us anymore that are not taking us closer to our highest greatest good um and yeah this person doesn't seem emotionally available or very open because uh, they're saying i don't know how to feel so this could just be somebody who's not very comfortable or maybe not looking for a committed stable serious relationship at this point in their life so i'll leave it there pisces if you resonated with this reading please do hit that like button for me and subscribe to my channel take care bye bye